What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be looking at Alan Wake Remastered. Now I'm sure you've heard about this game. It used to be an Xbox, uh, Xbox 360 and Xbox One exclusive, but now it came out in remastered form uh, to PlayStation 4, 5 and PC and Xbox consoles as well. So now this game, it's uh, pretty much like an old game, but it looks better and it now runs at 60 frames per second. So that's actually a great news. So I'll be playing maybe first like 30 minutes of it or like first chapter or whatever, right? Um, so let's look, let's check the options first. Uh, there isn't much in terms of um, a graphics options. There's only one graphics mode, meaning, you know, 4K 60. I think it's dynamic 4K 60 frames per second. I disabled film grain, I don't like it. Uh, motion blur, yeah, it can stay. Uh, yeah, uh, subtitles, and uh, yeah, that's fine. So how about we start the game and uh, we look at performance, we will look at graphics, loading times and stuff. So let's, uh, let's start. Yeah, let's play a normal. Yeah. I did play this game for like five minutes yesterday, Stephen so... Stephen King once wrote that nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and it's what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I'm a writer. I've always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. I'd seen the hitchhiker too late. Oh my god, he killed him. He was dead. Yes, he was. I was convinced they'd put me in jail and I would never see Alice again. But then this happened. Hey, it's a th horror game, kind of. It's not too scary, to be honest with you. Suddenly, his body was gone. I was in shock from the crash. I could hardly stand my feet. <laughs> yeah, so straight away, um, you can see that it's a very sharp looking game. So yeah, it's 4K all right. It may be dynamic. Sometimes it may actually drop resolutions a little bit here and there, but uh, at least in this scene, yeah, it's, it's nice and stuff. Um, they did change some graphics settings, uh, meaning they, um, I think they added better textures, so textures looks much better. Uh, they've changed the face of some of the characters and stuff, added a little bit of details here and there, but for the most part that's pretty much the same game. No, no reverse. <clears throat> you can change camera settings in the mini options. Okay, let's walk then. Yeah, it's actually nice to play this game in nice smooth 60 frames per second with the better graphics and stuff. Um, <clears throat> you can see that they haven't really done much to the environment in a sense that uh, there's not much of a difference. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Yeah, let's go to the lighthouse. Uh, 
<clears throat> By the way, I'm not really sure why, but we need to collect these um, the bridge had collapsed. I'd have to find these thermos. Coffee thermos. I'll be. Yeah, it's one of the collectibles, you know. <clears throat> I've picked up quite a lot of them in in my on my original playthrough um, on Xbox 360 game, but yeah, I must say that the game looks good. Uh, you know, the textures looks nice. Um, it's actually interesting how how much games look at higher resolution and with better textures, despite the fact that that. Not much has actually changed in terms of the, you know, geometry and graphics overall. Me, do you, no, I don't. I need to get to the light. He's chasing me. Oh, so I have to keep dodging him. I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I'd been working on. Yeah, so the whole premise of the game is that I'm not really going to spoil you too much, but the game, I mean, obviously these guys in uh, Alan Wake is our as uh, a writer and he keeps having these dreams and um and basically in his dreams he's dreaming of his book characters and and stuff so <clears throat> hurry up hurry up Get inside. Oh no. Stop. No. Oh, damn it, die. No, no. no! <gasps> nice. I'm not planning on dying. Yeah, graphics improved big time, that's for sure. Anything interesting here? You should go into the light. You are only safe there. There we go. This is where your health regenerate rege regenerates. Well done. I have something important to tell you. 
It goes like this, for he did not know that beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean green, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? <coughs> no. Follow my light. away and make him vulnerable again. Here, take the light. Turn your flashlight toward him and burn the darkness away. You did it. Now the darkness no longer protects him, but it's still inside, controlling him. He can't be saved. He's still a threat. He is still your enemy. Here, take the gun. Yeah, give me the gun. Give me the gun. No, you will die. There we go. Good. You've done well. Remember what I've taught you. That is all. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite surprised that this game still looks that good. Uh, Yeah, so generally speaking, we shouldn't be really shooting these guys until they... So we need to get rid of the lot, the darkness first and then shoot them. Yeah, these flowers, uh, flares are actually quite useful against like bigger enemies or uh, a group of enemies, so... Oh shit! There we go. You can't stop me. Oh. 
Yeah, the graphics looks good, really good. Yeah. Uh oh, it's getting tense. Did I tell you that I love Arena Medi games? Oh, there's a. Uh... Yeah, darkness is chasing me, but let's grab that thermos. <laughs> Did I pick it up? Yeah, I did. Oh, I did it. By the way guys, you can check me on Twitch where I stream all these games as well, talk about the latest news. Link is in the description. So don't miss out and click that link and follow me on Twitch. Shameless, shameless, shameless plug I know. You dozed off. Hello, sweetheart. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. Yeah, the game keeps switching from his dreams and like reality. So it's actually kind of a very interesting thing. It's a bit confusing at the very beginning, but yeah. Welcome to Bright Falls. Nice little town. <coughs> hey, the um water and water reflections looks good. Hey, are they using ray tracing? Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. No, that Don't can't be. Sure, I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy, moments before he got eaten by a bear. Hey, I don't know what they're using, but that's not screen space reflections for sure. Because usually you would have these reflections disappear. They're not, I don't know. The shot. Hello, mister, how's it going? Hello there, you picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Deerfest, huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife, if you don't mind me saying. I'm Pat Main, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Ellen Wake. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? Look, Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you do have a lovely holiday. How about that recognition, right? I'm quite impressed. Like this game looks good. Look at these reflections in the water. Like I just can't yeah. get over it. They don't disappear. Settling in. Okay, Al. 
I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. I love you too, Barry. Okay, okay. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Hold on a minute. Yeah, there's blood in so okay, well but he was talking about the hunt Alan, we're here. deer hunt Let's season, so I guess that's deer's blood, I hope. What's up, honey? Okay, get back to car. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. Carl Stuckey. I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes. Sure. What the hell is going on with the audio? Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. Yeah, they changed Alan Wake's face and he's still places like this. Kind of can get used to it. Everybody. Welcome to the Odier Diner. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake. Alan Wake. Oh god, I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. I'm glad to hear that. Rose. Rose. I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky? Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I found oh, books. there's another cut out from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Coffee jar. Do me a favor, Sonny. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. I'd what am I? Uh... Both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah! Are you serious? Coconut again? You disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> it does that. Get stuck. Yeah. You need to give it a good solid whack. It works. Now that's what I'm talking about. Yes! This is it. I've died and gone to hell. <laughs> oh, this is going to be an interesting scene. I remember that. Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I didn't want to wait. I wanted to find Stucky. To get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving. Hello? Mr. Stucky. Mr. Stucky? Are you done yet? Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken ill. But I have the key for you and instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you've settled in. And to meet your wife. I insist. Thanks. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Is it? Yeah, I know. I've been there before. I know what is going to happen. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. And then I must remind Sarah to change the lights at the station. It's been too long already. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Splendid. Splendid. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Yeah. Splendid. Splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. 
good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't have to have a bottle on you, would you, Tom? I wish. I'm not Tom. But I know I will meet these guys later in the game, so... The Andersons, they're, uh... <coughs> That's all right. We've got any more of these coffee cup, coffee cups? I guess not. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. I got some flashlights just in case. Yeah, these will come in handy for sure. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wake, you're. Your keys! Whoops, looks like he's got the wrong house. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. And now the weather. It's going to be a clear night, so you folks in the big city might want to look up every once in a while. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I don't know. Inside, safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia, the fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. I mean, the game seemed to have some audio issues once for a while. Are you sure you read the directions right? I'm not sure, it's but uh. For sure. I must say that the game looks good and I'm really impressed with these um this is so much better. It's wonderful. Water reflections. I don't know what they actually using, what sort of technique, but looks good. Yeah, let's you know well, let's just look around and uh, I'll probably uh wrap up the video um yeah the graphics is very impressive you know for like that kind of a remaster it's not really a remake so they haven't really uh, created this game for kind of like from scratch like some of these games but yeah the game looks really really good the water relax looks good the draw distance seems to be um uh, increased and these reflections looks really good as well. Um, yeah. So you know, if if I if I've never seen this game before, and you and you showed me that game, I would say it's it's a Xbox One game. The island had once been the site for a love story. Maybe it would be that again. Or maybe not. I wonder if there's any um, coffee cups over here. Well, th not cups. Alice had told me about Cauldron Lake Lodge. The old building used to be a hotel, but these days it was no longer open to the public. Yeah, I wonder why. Yeah, no coffee around here, probably in the house, so I'll go to. I'll go and look in the house, inside the house. Um, yeah, so basically what I need to do now is I need to, because there's no light. Okay. 
And now electricity, now it's electricity. Cool. Yeah, you do that. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. Okay, checkpoint reached. Look at these views. Even better. Even better looking now. All right, guys. So that's that's the game. Um, I like it a lot now that it's uh, you know it, it runs at high resolution and 60 frames per second finally the story is great if you like that kind of games I love the original game I'm, and I know that I'll be enjoying this one as well it's pretty cheap it's like $30 I think uh, or something like that or 30 euros depending where you are and um, it's a very good story. I love Remedy games, so I really enjoyed this one, uh, the original game. So I will enjoy this one as well. So guys, check me on Twitch where I stream daily. Uh, I will be streaming this game later next week as well. So, you know, join me there. Give me a follow on Twitch. And um, guys, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.